Some 20,000 people are bitten by snakes annually in Kenya, with an estimated 4,000 deaths and 7,000 cases of permanent health complications. And that's according to the Institute of Primate Research, Kenya. Anti-venoms are usually imported from other countries, but most are region-specific, meaning they do not work effectively in Kenya. Scientists are now working on developing local anti-venoms to reduce deaths from snake bites. In Kenya's Kitui County, residents live in constant fear of venomous snake bites as dangerous snakes move closer to their settlement. The forests around them dwindle due to logging and agricultural expansion and the climate patterns become increasingly unpredictable. Reptiles are encroaching on human territory with alarming frequency. When there's a lot of rain, snakes are carried by floods to our homes. Snakes are in the mountains when there are no rains. They come down to look for food. Many chickens have been killed by snakes looking for food and now we can't eat those chickens. The snakes also bite donkeys and cows. And now you can't know what to treat the cow with because we don't have the right medicine. But it's not just livestock that is suffering. Agostin Wambua, a 41-year-old resident of Kitui, is currently in Kitui Referral Hospital following a puff adder bite sustained while tending his goats in a degraded forest earlier this month. The outcome is still unknown. For Wambua and his family, the ordeal is twofold as they grapple not only with the fear of Wambua's health, but also with the financial strain imposed by the costly treatment. I have personally spent a lot of money because every lab test is expensive and every poison test is paid for. Since I was bitten, my lab results show poison, poison, poison and every injection is an extra expense. And now the whole cost is mounting high and my people are straining a lot and it was an abrupt incident. Kenya imports anti-venom medicines from Mexico and India. However, 50% of them are reported ineffective. Anti-venoms are mostly region-specific, meaning those produced from venoms in one region might not effectively treat snake bites in a different region. KSRIC, in collaboration with the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine, is actively working on developing an anti-venom serum aimed at significantly reducing deaths from snake bites. Their mission is to harvest the venom needed to produce the next generation of anti-venom medicines for snake bite victims. By researching and uh, developing uh, what we call new generation snake bite therapies, uh, the current conventional antivenoms are, are quite old and uh, suffer certain inherent deficiencies. At present, patients require up to five vials of antivenom serum, which can cost between 70 and 105 US dollars. As the effects of climate change becomes more erratic and snake bite cases increase, KSRIC is also collaborating with communities to improve knowledge on snake bite prevention how to handle snakes and how to perform first aid on victims. Africa Bureau Beyond World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.